Hey, what's up guys? 915man here just hanging out poolside. Hope you guys are doing well. Your tanks are doing good. Uh, I got a nice update going on today and uh, we're going to talk about that today. We've been getting slammed with a lot of rain here lately, but uh, as always, I'm not going to complain. It's pretty much a blessing here in the desert. And uh, at the end of the day, we got to check out this cool rainbow. So I'm not going to complain. Uh, this rain is much needed and uh, it's pretty cool to check out. So let's go ahead and get into this update. The first thing first, I picked up some goodies. My buddy was getting out of, uh, well, ended up breaking down the tank. Remember that tank with the center brace that was flapping uh, with the bow front tank? Well, his name's Javier. And uh, he gave me a bunch of stuff. And some of the stuff that I bought, like I bought these uh, test kits, you know, the elements. Um, and then I also bought the ones that has the Al calcium and magnesium. I actually do have some laying around, but uh, you know what? For 20 bucks, I'm not going to go ahead and complain. And I also picked up a frag rack. This is a little bit of bigger frag rack. Um, I really didn't need it, but I went ahead and uh, helped my buddy out. I, I still got some black egg crate laying around, and I'm going to use that with this and uh, just grow it out in the Forty Breeder. Now with news with the 40 breeder, I know you guys been seeing the videos of how to drill and how to, you know, spray paint. I'm going to continue doing those videos, how to make a stand and just do a series like that. Now these little measuring cups right here, I use the 2.5 ml and the 5 ml. Well, I don't like how they get all crusty. So what I do is I throw them in a jar of vinegar. The vinegar keeps it. And when I need to use it, I, I go ahead and measure and dose. And then I put it back in the jar. Now since we're talking about the 20 gallon frag tank just above it, below it, um, my yellow eye coal tank is MIA. I cannot find it. I think it jumped out and just as I was getting ready to move them over to the 180. You know what? I can't find the little guy. I'm guessing that uh, the yellow eye coal tank jumped out of the 20 and then got eaten by my uh, dog. Um, because she was kind of acting funny in the morning uh, the day when I couldn't find her. So I, I don't know what happened. You know, it's kind of sad. I don't think I'll get another tang. Well, I'll probably get a, a yellow tang. But you know what? I don't think I'll get a yellow eye cold tang. And I'll just leave my tank the way it is. Add a couple more fish, some small fish. And then add some fish into the 40-gallon uh, breeder. And I think I'll be done with fish. Those Kimmy Pure Blue bags are pretty good and that's what this is I uh, rinsed it out and I'm gonna go ahead and reuse the bag because obviously it's really good uh, for media um, what I did is I just got it cleaned it out and it's uh, just held together with a little zip tie I'm using the Aquamax reactor it's held with a magnet I just put it on and do the twist and I'm good to go the bot the pump is on the bottom of the reactor and you can adjust it I did a video on it and uh, it's doing really good. Now, uh, I'm getting a bunch of this uh, cotton candy algae off on the side. And uh, what I did is I started starving it without uh, running the light 24-7. It's helped a little bit, but I think I'm just going to manually pick it out. I'm going to take you to a trip to the LFS, the Coral Reef. Uh, one of my favorite LFSs now. And I'm going to show you what I uh, picked up, guys. Yeah. We got, uh, we got six books and we got two pictures so we got two of them. How much are those? Um, so it all depends the size. So you can get them. These, I think, are 40 bucks. These, they are eight years. That's for eight years. Because uh, I was looking at Aquarium Specialty and they had a... Sale on them, huh? Yeah, but they were not those. They, they had the knockoff ones and the... Supposedly the knockoff ones were better, but I went to go look again. They're gone. They're all gone. Yeah. Yeah, but we actually... Because I have that uh, 36 inch aquatic life and I was going to do two T5s and then some kind of uh, deals like that. Some LED so I could have like a hybrid. Do you have any running right now? But are, are they the... Yeah. These two, they still haven't come out with a UV, so we just got to put Those are the E85s? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. These, these are LED. Oh, damn. Yeah. And our, I thought they were. Uh, I thought they were T5s. And our corals are doing amazing, man. Like the spread. These things are growing like crazy, and then these are these are LEDs as well. See them? Uh huh. Yeah, those are LEDs. Oh, okay. All the lights you see in those uh, frames are all LEDs. Oh, Pretty damn. much, we've been LED everywhere. Pretty yep. much the consumption. Yeah, you still get that pop, so... Uh. Yeah. I think they're, they're about to come up with the green pink pretty soon. That's the UV. Right now they have blue pops, they have um, white with blue. Can you uh, um, shut off the... the just, so just the blue popper running? or I saw that you have two switches, but... Yeah. It's pretty awesome, huh? It, it it's it's nice. You, did you sell that pic? Oh no, you still have it. Pictinio. <laughs> Somebody asked for it yesterday. Really? Yeah. Are you serious yeah. about it or? Yeah. This guy has a 250 gallon tank. He has all acros and he has like some of the rare stuff that I've seen. He's one of our customers. Yeah, I saw how much it is, but I was like, it's nice. I I know. Uh, yeah, it's like the ultras. There's a reason why this one's so expensive because it's an ultra. Uh -huh. and it has like the like the schematics. I was saying the uh, Space Invaders. Yeah. I don't know if they are that expensive, but nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's different. That looks kind of like a vampire to vampire? me. So. Well, one of the vampire morphs. And I'll take one more of these. I'll take the that the red one with the blue, but kind of like right. yeah, that one's sweet. That'll be it. That'll be it. Yeah. Yeah, I came to look at this, but I I always get corals over fish. Maybe next time. So that's exactly why we put it in here. I thought it was, uh, you know, the cement fixtures and then... Uh, Are you going to pick coral up? Oh, man, I was looking for that too. <laughs> but it's really... Nice. Yeah, but I, I thought... Uh, have you seen the Reef Chicks, how they did the, the girls and they put... I think it was Reef Chicks. So they put that Cypressia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah, no, that was actually... It was like a, like a table type of thing. It was like, like this and it's like a triangle. And I just cut it up. It's cool, man. That is pretty cool.
nice. How did we notice? Like, I think there's a couple pieces of that one. Yeah, like a little bit of a little plate. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and brought this frag home, dipped it with some Coral RX. I'm using a straw to uh, spin it around. I already acclimated it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this baby in the tank and uh, just grow it out. Uh, they had some awesome zoas there. Uh, and you know what? That's what I really, really like. Uh, I like the mixed reef, but uh, you know what? I love the zoas. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. You guys take care and have a good one.